Kill Girl here to do this American Horror Story Freak Show inspired look. You know, kind of in honor of the new season kicking off tonight. So if you want to see how to get this look, keep on watching. Okay, and to start, I'm going to go in with a water-based makeup. This one's from Mayron. This is the Basic Paradise Palette. I found this one on Amazon for a pretty reasonable price. I'll leave a link below. You can activate it with water or a mixing medium. I will be using a mixing medium. This one here is by Mayron. And to clean up any edges, you can go in with a makeup wipe or a baby wipe. Now that I have the black collar looking pretty good, I'm going to go in with the white from that Mayron Paradise Basic Palette. Probably a good idea in between each line to kind of wipe your brush off a little bit just to get off any black that you may have gotten on it. And with doing this step you really want to just kind of take your time and get the lines nice and neat. You know it will look better in the end if you do. This is by far the most time consuming part of this makeup. for the bottom of it I'm just kind of feathering the tips out a bit nothing too fancy depending on depending on what costume you're wearing this part may even be covered up or you can do a nice design at the bottom it's up to you now I'm just going to go back in with some of the black to kind of clean up the edges a little more Now that I have my neck color painted on, I'm going to go in and do a little bit of foundation. You can go as light or as natural color with your foundation as you like. I am personally going to go with a lighter color, just kind of pale out the skin a little bit. This is an American Horror Story inspired look after all. And what would American Horror Story be without it being a little creepy? I'm just going to put a little... On the back of my hand and I'll use this paddle foundation brush to apply that just all over the face I know I am extremely excited about the new season of American Horror Story I've been watching the old seasons on Netflix recently I just finished season one which was murder house and just getting into the first episode of season two, Asylum. I don't know, I really liked the last season also, which was Coven. Really torn between what was my favorite so far, whether it was Asylum or Coven. I'm going to be careful going around the line right there where the black makeup is. So if you watch American Horror Story, which season has been your favorite so far, and who's your favorite character? That should do for the foundation. And now we need to set that foundation. To do that, I'll be using a translucent powder. And I'm just using a velour puff. And we will do the press and press and roll technique. This will just keep the foundation from moving around and really kind of seal it in place. We don't have to worry about going in with under eye concealer because I'm going to be covering that with black makeup. But if you're not going to, you might want to, you know, cover the under eye area with some concealer. I'm not going to put a do a lot of eyeshadow on the upper lids, but I am going to go in with eyeshadow primer. This one is from Urban Decay. Just getting a little bit out. And for the eyelid, I'm just going to go in with one color. This is one from Revlon. This is the charcoal matte color. 
Pick up a little on the brush, tap it off any excess. And I don't want this to be super neat, so I'm just going to kind of messily apply that. You don't have to just stay on the eyelid for this. You can kind of blend out past it, kind of give it a little bit of a dirty look. Okay, and before I get into doing the detailing around the eye, I'm going to go in with a blush. This is one from Wet n Wild. This is Heather Silk. Very pigmented, so be very careful. Next, we're going to line the waterline. I'll be using this black eyeliner from Jordana. This is the 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner. For this look, I'm going to do both upper and lower waterline. You can leave the upper waterline out if you'd like. It does tickle and it takes a little getting used to whenever you do it. You just kind of see the difference that it makes in having the waterline of the eyes outlined. And I have just went thus far in the tutorial realizing that I did not have my ring light on. So a little color change as I turn it on. Let the camera kind of adjust. It's like, why is it so shadowy and not enough light? Duh. And that is the eyes lined. I'm not going to do any more to the upper lash line, so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mascara now. For the mascara, I'll be using this one from Buxom. For a strong look like this, you know, especially with the detailing that we're going to put around the eyes, you really want to go in and fill in your eyebrows. I'll be using this by MAC. It is the Deep Dark Brunette Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream. It's a mouthful. It's a waterproof, you know, eyeliner. Very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Right there with one eyebrow done and the other not you can just kind of see what a difference that makes in the makeup so far now let's get in here and get this other brow done now it is time to start putting some detailing in around the eye area you want to kind of have an idea of what you want ahead of time there's no real specific detailing to do around the eyes. Just kind of look up circus looks and go with whatever kind of appeals to you most. Using a, you know, a liquid liner that already has a tip on it like this is really nice because it just kind of helps you get nice crisp tips. And don't worry too much about the flesh area that's showing between the eyelashes. We'll go in with a eyeliner and kind of fix that later. To cover up the flesh tone that is showing through on that lower lash line, I'm going back in with this Jordana eyeliner and just really smudging that into that lash line. If you have any special Halloween contacts, you'll want to put those in before you start working around the eye area. So as, as, as I've said before, makeup in the eye. 
And now to do something about these lips. I'm going to go for a darker vampy lip. I'm going to start by outlining with this MAC lip liner in burgundy. And when you're working with red tones like this or any dark lip color, you want to really take your time. Just kind of exaggerating the cupid's bow of the lip here. And slightly exaggerating the outer corners. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like I've got a couple of candles in here and I think that's really making my eyes water. If you have any boo-boos with the lip liner or lipstick, you can go back in with that foundation and just kind of clean up the line a little bit. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using this one from MAC. It is in the color Diva. And you can stop right here, or you can do something that is in kind of true American Horror Story fashion. Take your hand. And just swipe the lipstick over like that. Put on your your ringleader hat and now you're ready for the circus this is just a hat that I found at a antique store a few years ago so you can find these online Halloween stores this is just kind of one that I have on hand and this is it this is the finished tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward to American Horror Story freak show as much as I am the next time <music>